good afternoon, everyone. So welcome to mathematics class. We are now on uh, week three of uh, school year 2021 to 2022, division of Tagig City and Pateros. So sa mga hindi pa nakapag subscribe and like, kindly hit the subscribe and the like button. Okay. So our lesson for today is uh, about... Uh, GMDAS, PMDAS. So perform a series of more than two operations on whole number. So at the end of this video, you're expected to perform a series of more than two operations on a whole number, applying parentheses, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or PMDAS correctly, and then perform a series of more than two operations on whole numbers applying grouping, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or GMDAS correctly. Okay, so let's have a definition of terms. We have the PMDAS or P for parenthesis, M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Okay, and then we have the GMDAS or the grouping for G, and then multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, so always remember for this one, multiplication and division, yan, lagi magkasama yan, and then addition and subtraction. Yan. So let's have an exercise. So perform the equation. So we have activity one and we have activity two. So let's answer activity one. So there you go. So the problem is 10 times 5 divide 25 plus open parenthesis 8 minus 2 times 2 close parenthesis plus 4 minus 3 is equals to n. So in solving this, we perform first the number inside the parenthesis. Okay? So unahin natin palagi yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Ano ba yung mga parenthesis? Yeah, yung mga symbol niyan is like this. Yeah, mga ganyan. And the same as like that. Yeah, yan yung mga parentheses na there. So we have this one. That's why we multiply 2 times 2. Kasi unahin natin is yung multiplication and division. MD muna. Uh, P muna tayo. Yan, parentheses na sa loob. But we need to make sure that unahin natin yung... Yan. Unahin natin yung multiplication division. That will occur from left to right. Yan. 2 times 2 equals 4. And then... May nasa loob pa ng parenthesis. So we have 8 minus 4. We have 4. And then this can be the equation. So this one, unahin natin. We will start from here to there. Yeah, it should be from left to right. Unahin natin yung multiplication and division. Yeah. So 10 times 5, we have 50. And then divide 25 plus 4 plus 4 minus 3. And then we have... Division. So we have 50 divided 25. We have 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus minus 3. Okay? And the next one, we have addition and subtraction. Yan. Unahin natin yung addition subtraction. Kung sino mauuna from left to right. So we have, so dahil addition and subtraction na lang siya, wala nang ibang operation, we will just uh, solve it as is na lang. So from left to right. So 2 plus 4, we have 6. And then plus 4 minus 3. And then 6 plus 4. Six plus 4 minus 3. And so this becomes 10 minus 3 equals 7. Yeah. So tanda natin class, multiplication and division lagi yung magkasama. And at the same time, addition and subtraction. So, kapag addition and subtraction na lang operation natin, wala nang M and D. So, we will just uh, solve it as is na lang. So, yung mismo from left to right. Pero pag may naligaw pang multiplication and division, that's the time na uunahin natin sila. Okay? So, let's move on to the example number two. Ayan. So, syempre, unahin natin nasa loob ng parenthesis. Ayan. 45 divide 5. So, we have 9. Ayan. And then, dahil nasa loob pa rin siya ng parenthesis, dahil dalawa siya, so nawala lang to naging siyang 9. So, 9 times 9 equals 81. And then, copy the numbers, minus 4 plus 12. So, dahil wala ng ibang operation, um, 
subtraction and addition na lang, we will just perform it from left to right as is na lang. So 81 minus 14 equals 67. And then plus 12, 67 plus 12, we have 79. So the answer is 79. So always remember, it should be from left to right. And then unahin natin muna yung sa loob ng parenthesis. And after that, we will look for multiplication and division. Magkasama lagi yan. Kung sino yung maunang mag, magpapakita from left to right. And then we have addition and subtraction. Lagi magkasama din yan. So kapag ito na lang natitira, so we will just perform it from left to right. Okay? Kapag ito na lang, so from left to right it is. Okay? So let's have more exercises. Yan. Okay, always remember pala. First, we have to simplify the equation inside the parenthesis and then perform all multiplication and division. Means multiplication and division muna as they occur from left to right. Kung, kung basta ako sino yung mauna sa left, nagpapakita yun ang ipaperform agad natin. And then after that, perform addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. Kaya lagi magkasama siya. Multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. Hindi siya pwede magkahiwalay. Okay? So, let's have more ex examples. Uh, mas maintindihan natin. Yan. There we have three uh, um, examples here. Simplify the following equation. Let's answer number one. Yan. Simplify the following. So, first, hanapin natin kung merong parenthesis pa. So, so sa taas. Parenthesis or grouping. And then... Multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Yeah, this one will be separated and the other one. Yan. So, nahin natin yung numbers na nasa gitna. So, 23, copy lang natin siya. Minus, open parenthesis, yan. So, 14 divide 7, we have 2. Yan. Then, times 6, and then close parenthesis, minus 6 equals n. Yan. So, next one. So, 23 minus, dahil meron pang nasa loob ng parenthesis, unahin natin siya. So, 23 minus 2 times 6 equals 12. Ayan. Minus 6 equals n. So, dahil nakikita natin na wala nang ibang operation dito, ang operation na lang natin is dalawang subtractions, we will just subtract. So, we will just 23 minus 12, we have 11. Minus 6, we have N. So, the answer, 11 minus 6 equals 5. So, the answer is N is equal to 5. Okay? Okay. So, this can be the answer. Okay? So, we have, again, inuna natin dito yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Ayan. And then, after that, inubos muna natin siya. And then, nung wala na, nakita natin na yung operation natin is subtraction na lang. So, we just perform the operation as is from left to right hanggang makuha natin yung ating final answer. Okay? So, let's move to the next example. So, example number two. Okay? So, problem number two, rather. Um, simplify the following equation. Um, P M das. Yeah. Okay. So first we have to perform this one. Kasi nasa loob siya. So we will just copy six times five. We have thirty and divide ten. Ayan nasa loob pa rin siya. Then copy those numbers plus two plus fourteen divide seven. Equals n. Ayan. And then next, yung nasa loob pa rin, unahin natin to. Sinata loob siya. 30 divide 10, we have 3. And then copy all the numbers na natitira, plus 2. And then plus 14 divide 7 equals n. Ayan. So napansin natin class na ilang operation pa meron ta. We have addition. Addition and we have division. So, first on the rule, kailangan nating unahin yung multiplication and division. Dahil may division pa yan, uunahin natin ito. So, we have 3 plus 2 plus 14 divide 7, we have 2 equals n. Yan. So, dahil isang operation na lang, we will just perform the operation as is. So, we have 3 
plus 2, 3 plus 2 plus 2 equals n. So it becomes 3 plus 2 becomes 5 plus 2 equals n. And then 5 plus 2 becomes 7. So the answer is n is equals to 7. So always remember, kailangan lang nating unahin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Let's check for the multiplication and division of course from left to right. At the same time, addition and subtraction. Okay, so let's have the last um, activity now. So simplify the following equations. So first, we have this. We nasa loob ng parenthesis, so we will just copy all the numbers first. 18 divide 3 minus 2 plus, open parenthesis, 24 divide 6 equals 4, and then plus 4. And then equals n. Yan. So napansin natin meron tayong division and addition. Unahin mo natin yung division or unahin natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So as for first rule, we need to perform the operation inside the parenthesis. Okay? Para doon sa kaloob-looban niya hanggang mawala yung parenthesis niya. So we will need to perform the operation inside the parenthesis first. And so 2 plus, so 4 plus 4, we have 8 is equal to n. Next, we have division, add, subtraction, and addition. So syempre, unahin natin muna yung ating division. So 18 divided by 3, we have 6 minus 2 plus 8 equals n. So this one, we only have subtraction and addition. So dahil wala nang ibang operation, sila na lang dalawa ay magkasama naman sila palagi. So we will just perform the operation as is. So 6 minus 2, we have 4 plus 8 is equal to n. So 4 plus 8 becomes 12 is equal to n. So the answer is n is equal to 12. So always remember class, things to remember. Okay? So in performing a series of more than two operations on whole numbers, applying parentheses, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, PM does correctly. First, we have to simplify the equation inside the parentheses. And this next one, perform multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. multiplication and division. And then next, we have perform addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right as well. Okay, kaya lagi magkasama siya. Multiplication and division and addition and subtraction. And then, another things to remember, in performing a series of more than two operations and whole numbers, applying grouping, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, GM does correctly. First, simplify the equation inside the parenthesis or grouping symbol. And then next, perform multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. And then lastly, perform addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. All right. So I think uh, that's all for today. For, for uh, any question, you can just comment down below. On, or if you learn from this video, kindly hit the uh, like, share, and subscribe. And see you on my next video. Bye. Thank you.